Hey, what is happening everybody? How are you doing? This is Rob of Rule of Two Review. Welcome back to the channel. And as you can see, I finally added a little bit of decor to the background of my videos here. So I'm still playing with the new space and the new house here and what I'm going to be doing with this office. And it is going to be ever changing for several months still, okay? Because I'm going to be slowly piecing together some things that'll be popping up in the background here and for what I'm going to be using this office for, but it's nice to have some stuff going, definitely feels pretty cool, but with that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the actual goods. So in no surprise, we are talking more about Nintendo in 2020, everything's weird, they're still silent, the Nintendo Direct Mini was very disappointing and very polarizing, and you know, this conversation just can't end anytime soon because for somebody like me who loves and follows and talks about Nintendo, there is nothing else to talk about, right? So we're all Nintendo fans. You come here hearing conversations and news and updates about Nintendo. And with the exception of some things that aren't official, like this, you know, the L is real and the Nintendo 64 source code leaks, there really isn't much else to talk about. There is a little bit of a conversation about them investing $800 million in R&D. And that's not really the kind of thing that I feel interested in talking about just yet. I don't have enough information to feel comfortable, but I am looking into that. And if something else bigger comes of it, I will be talking about it at that time. But other than those two things, there is nothing else to talk about, right? So if you come to me or any other YouTuber looking for Nintendo news and conversation, the only thing to talk about is that there isn't real official confirmed news to talk about. But of course, that doesn't mean that my brain stops thinking about Nintendo and the gaming industry and the stuff that I want to be seeing. You know, with the new PS5 and Xbox Series X coming and Cyberpunk is still coming this year, stuff like this happening, it's like that side of the industry I'm pretty focused on. I'm very excited for. I can't wait to play PS5 and Xbox Series X this year. I am so jacked for Halo. I am really jacked for Cyberpunk. I mean, there are things that are still happening in gaming, but Nintendo, of course, my favorite company, for a lot of you, probably your favorite company, is the one people that we're still waiting to understand. And, you know, we're still here in the aftermath of the Nintendo Direct Mini partner presentation, which was just such a disaster. I was even recently on uh, another podcast on Andre's Restarts channel, and we spent most of that three hours talking about that Direct presentation and the fallout from it and where we think Nintendo is. And it just has me wondering, and this is even something I actually brought up as my own personal theory on that podcast, if next month, August 2020, which literally starts in two days from the day I'm recording this, is next month the last opportunity for Nintendo to finally address us about 2020 games, hopefully in a Nintendo Direct. Now, of course, this is nothing more than wild speculation on my part, okay? So this isn't about rumors. This isn't about being mad at Nintendo for not doing the things that we want them to do. This isn't about any of that stuff. I'm not trying to throw Nintendo under the bus. I'm not trying to be mad. I'm not trying to be blindly optimistic either. I've already discussed my optimism and how I think they still have a plan for this year. This is literally just speculative for the sake of doing it because there's really nothing else to actually talk about. And this is a theory that I tend to believe, hence why I did bring it up on that podcast several days ago. I mean, I've already been thinking about this. Now I wanted to discuss it with you guys on this video. And I feel like August, next month, the eighth month of the year in Nintendo's weird, you know, eight months of silence in 2020, mostly silence, I should say, in 2020, feels like the correct time for them to actually try to address us about what they might be doing for the rest of 2020. Because, you know, we can start focusing on 2021 at this point. You know, we're only just past the halfway mark of the year. But we are, I think, all starting to feel the pull to 2020. We're starting to envision a lot of the games that we do know about coming out in 2021. We think Breath of the Wild 2 might be 2021. Bayonetta 3 might be 2021. We still don't have release dates for Bravely Default 2 or No More Heroes 3. Are those going to make it out this year? Are those going to end up being 2021 games? Are they making a brand new Pikmin? If so, is that a 2021 game? Does F-Zero come back? The Mario remasters? A new Mario game? Game? I mean, we can just start listing game, 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 game for the Nintendo Switch, you know, first party titles, and they start to make more and more sense next year than they do this year. But the problem with that is that we still have five months of this year to go. There's a lot of time in 2020. 
which includes the holiday shopping season time, where notoriously all of these companies, Nintendo included, will try to release their biggest games. We also have the rollout of a next generation machine from their from Nintendo's two competitors, and so that becomes an optimal time for them to maybe release something big that could help combat that if they wanted to. And so what happens in 2020? Well, I think that if they want to say, hey, here's a great kick-ass new Nintendo game coming out in November 2020, you show it in a Nintendo Direct in August. If they want to say, here's a release date for Bayonetta 3 and for No More Heroes 3 and for Doom Eternal, another game we're waiting on, here's a Nintendo Direct in August for these games coming out in September, October, or November. What about Axiom Verge 2 or Hollow Knight Silk Song? You know, new indie games, new first party games, new third party games, all of the stuff that we've been waiting for. That's the stuff that if Nintendo has any plans for the rest of this year, like they recently have tried to tell us through their investors meeting, I just feel like August is really one of the last chances Nintendo would have to have a Nintendo Direct or release a bunch of information, a press release, tweets, YouTube videos that shows us that September, October, November, or even December are going to have games for us to play. And again, I'll come back to the Mario remasters. If those are real, and if those are 2020 releases, I don't think Nintendo can go too much longer without addressing them. And so again, I personally come back to August where I think it makes sense. I mean, heck, they could even hold a Nintendo Direct on August 28th, the last Thursday of the month, effectively the end of the month, that is four weeks from now, that basically almost makes it feel like it isn't an August Direct, even though it would be right just pushed into the back half of the, or the back couple days of the month. They could even do that if they want to, and so it feels like it's that much farther away from now, but it still becomes an August Nintendo Direct, and I just think that this is the month where it makes sense for them to start addressing this stuff. And of course, I do keep referring to the Nintendo Direct idea, and it should be noted that in the weirdness that is 2020, maybe a Nintendo Direct isn't really on the table. Maybe if Nintendo does want to start revealing some of these games, if they even exist for 2020, maybe they shirk the Nintendo Direct idea altogether and they do a different package of game trailers or they just completely don't even release them in a package. Maybe they just put individual trailers and tweets out, you know? We can go back to the Paper Mario thing. That was essentially a tweet and a trailer saying, here's a new Paper Mario game, and they only announced that two months ahead of time. So that's the other unique thing about Nintendo in 2020 as well, is they're willing to maybe really drastically reduce the amount of lead time between the announcement of a game and the release of the game. So maybe that means August is the perfect time to tell us about a game coming out in October or November. I mean, again, the timing all works out. You know, are we still going to get a huge bomb like a Breath of the Wild 2 this year? I truly, truly don't believe it. There are some people out there I know who maybe still want to hold out hope for 2020 for that game, including my buddy Andre's Restart. He said that several times on the podcast I was on there. And it's like, you know, if they're going to release that game this year, which in no way, shape, or form do I believe, I think they need to announce that sooner than later because they're going to need a pretty hefty lead time of hype and previews and maybe even a Nintendo treehouse dedicated to that game. And so that game was prob would probably be the November release, something to release alongside the PS5 and Series X, and Nintendo's going to need that time. They can't just be like, oh, it's coming out next month, here you go. Not with a game of that size, no way. They want the four or five months three, four, five months lead time at bare minimum, if not longer. I wouldn't be surprised if they took a year. Part of the reason I think the game would be next year is they could have a year lead time to promote the game and hype it, just like what happened with Breath of the Wild. Even though that was a unique circumstance and I get it, I still think part of that model Nintendo might want to borrow for Breath of the Wild 2. And, you know, talking about No More Heroes 3, another game that I've said throughout the whole year, or not the whole year, I should say, their last couple of months. Initially, I did think the game was still going to come out this year, but the last couple of months, I started to fear that it is going to be delayed to 2021, and I do kind of think that's going to be the case. Suda51 has not done anything to bolster my confidence. Maybe there is a plan to, to announce the date soon and get that game out by October or something. I mean, that could happen, and I'm, I'm open to it. I'm ready. I want that game. But the way Nintendo or uh, Suda has been so cheeky and secretive with the info and the screenshots and footage they're showing of that game makes me wonder if it's just far away enough that it's not going to release this year. Bayonetta 3, another big mystery, starting to feel like a 2021 game. Bravely Default 2, 
I don't really care about that game, but I will tell you guys, that's the one that does still feel like a 2020 game to me. So, for all of you J uh, JRPG and Bravely Default fans, I feel like you have a good shot at playing that game this year. And so, you know, I do still want to believe that Nintendo has a plan for this year. Like I said in a video last week, I do want to believe the plan exists. We don't know if it does. It's me being optimistic, and maybe foolishly so, but I want to believe it. And if they have a plan, Yes, they might no longer be doing Nintendo Directs, but I also want to believe that they're that they are still doing Nintendo Directs. In which case, it brings me back to the whole title and theory of this video. That August next month to me makes sense. If August comes and goes and we don't see a Nintendo Direct or any new game announcements at all from Nintendo, I don't care how they do it. If we just get nothing new from Nintendo in the month of August, the last month of summer, I mean, then I think maybe we can finally say, at that point, maybe we can finally say Nintendo has given up on 2020. And if that's the case, that means we will have made it nine months into the year before it feels comfortable saying that it's a fact, right? Like, that there's obviously nothing else Nintendo is going to show us for this year. And, you know, Nintendo's been very frustrating this year. The first half of the year, it made sense. The pandemic is a big deal. You guys heard me on my videos. I cut them slack every step of the way until July. And so we now have a Nintendo that wants to continue to be silent. And when they do break their silence, they give us Nintendo Direct Partner presentation things that make people so mad and so upset and do not give us faith. Yes, Paper Mario was a wonderful surprise. Both the, both the trailer reveal and then the fact that it was two months later and it came out in July. Like, thank God we had that. Thank God Animal Crossing fans have had Animal Crossing. Xenoblade was amazing, but it's an old game. And so, I don't know, Nintendo's been a very frustrating company in 2020, man. I feel like after a while, they should have been able to overcome the hurdles of the, the pandemic situation. And just like so many other companies who are in Japan, as I brought up in a video a couple of weeks ago, they should have been able to start figuring things out. If Sony can launch a PlayStation 5, Naughty Dog and Sony can release The Last of Us Part 2, Square can release Final Fantasy 7, Capcom can release Resident Evil 3, Microsoft is making an Xbox Series X. Clearly, and these games are selling like crazy and breaking records, as I said, clearly Nintendo, also in Japan, can make a Nintendo Direct and release a couple of these games that they're probably making. We know that it's pot. We just know that it's possible. And so Nintendo's continued silence is starting to become a bit of a problem, I feel. Um, so it'll be interesting to see, does my theory hold water? Are we going to see new announcements from Nintendo in August or are we not going to? Who knows, but this is what I think, and you've heard my thoughts and opinions. What are your own thoughts and opinions? What do you believe about Nintendo for the rest of the year? Do you think August feels like the last chance for Nintendo to show us stuff for this year? Or do you think not? Do you think they could show us stuff in September or October to come out the same month? I mean, who knows? But we're, we are running out of time, and so that's really what kickstarted this conversation for me. So that's what I think. Share what you think below. And with that, this video is a wrap. Thanks, of course, as always, for tuning in, guys. This is Rob of Rule of Two Review, and I will catch you next time on another video.